India and Bangladesh have inked nearly two dozen pacts in strategic areas of defense and civil nuclear cooperation after productive talks between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Sheikh Hasina. In a joint address with the visiting Bangladesh PM Sheikh Hasina, PM Modi committed USD 500 million credit for the country's defense. PM Modi held extensive discussions to strengthen the strategic partnership between the two countries. Both the leaders jointly launched new rail and bus services between India and Bangladesh and restored an old rail link between the two South Asian neighbours following bilateral talks here. I am happy to announce a new concessional line of credit of $4.5 billion for the implementation of projects in priority sectors of Bangladesh. This brings our resources allocation for Bangladesh to more than $8 billion over the past six years. Energy security is an important dimension of our development partnership. And our energy partnership continues to grow. Today, we added an additional 60 megawatt of power to the 600 megawatt of power already flowing from India to Bangladesh. The supply of another 500 megawatt has already been committed from the existing interconnection. We have also agreed to finance the diesel oil pipeline from Numaligarh to Parbatipur. We are encouraging private sectors in both our countries to enter this space. Several agreements for investments in the energy sector in Bangladesh are expected to be signed by the Indian companies in the coming days. India will continue to be a willing partner in meeting the energy needs of Bangladesh and its goal of achieving power for all by 2021. We look forward to early implementation of the BBIN motor vehicle agreement. This would assure in a new era of sub-regional integration. Friends, Prime Minister Sheikh Hashina and I recognize the need to diversify our commercial engagement, not just to force wide-ranging business partnerships between our two economies, but also for greater regional benefit. Our agreement to open new border hearts will empower border communities to trade and contribute to their livelihoods.